guys for a later flight uh, where you would still be required to wear your mask or we can just fully refund your tickets? Well, I would like to see in writing your policy that states that a person. No, because I, I called to them. Here it is in writing right here. So it's in writing that you do not discriminate in these cases. So yes, now you're, you are breaking federal law, federal civil law. I just want you to understand you're, you're a younger generation than I am. I can't believe you want to live in a country like this where people cannot board a flight without wearing a mask. That's breaking civil law. I understand. That's what the Nazis said. That's right. I just followed the order. So I just want to educate you, Lindsay. You seem like a very nice girl. And um, I just want to let everybody know because, you know, I stand for what I believe in. And this is uh, Peggy Hall from thehealthyamerican.org. And um, trying to board a flight for uh, Southwest. And it's coming to an airline near you, you guys. And the interesting thing is, airlines are. Uh, no, I want my money back. Oh. Yeah. Would you like your money back as well now? Oh, okay. So, um, as you can see, they are breaking civil law. It's federal civil law, and you're breaking. There is a transportation board that oversees every airline, is regulated by the Department of Transportation, which clearly states that there may. Here it is right here in writing. You may not uh, discriminate against any of these people, and you may not harass them. Now, I have to say they didn't harass me, but they um, actually are ignorant because they don't have the information. And they're ignorant of the fact that the airline told me when I booked the flight that masks are not required until Monday. So I am not flying. I'm not flying.